check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Hey guys, it's Electron Man. Well, we want to do a little update on this uh, Grand XL. Um, by the way, I found a cool little adapter. I didn't even know they had it until I was out there looking for some five pins to wire a mic. But they've got these little uh, adapters here, which for me on the bench is wonderful. I don't know, you know, in a vehicle it might make it stick out a little further, but but I just love that. Uh, what it does is it converts a five pin to a four pin Cobra. So any any four pin Cobra mic will work on the five pin. Uh, you know cobras and and uh president i mean like you like the cobra 2000 the grand xl a lot of the sidebands have five pin well this little converter here so i can use my little bench mic that i use for about everything my little aztec here four pin and uh hook it up and test everything and uh here's the good news guys i didn't have to replace a single component in this this grand xl and it is a bad to the bone radio it's shocking um how this guy survived with all that crud up front. And I know the reason it ended up where I got it was because of the fact of, you know, you saw the front of it. It was, this hole here was completely rusted, corroded. It looked like it had been sitting face down in a, in a, in a flood. But I went there and uh, cleaned everything out real good with uh, with contact cleaner, then went back, deoxed everything. And uh, man, I got it. This thing works 100%. And uh, well, I say that, I've got to fix the meter still. Uh, not unusual on these, and really not surprising considering what this guy's been through, but we'll do the old trick on it, see if I can revive it back. If not, I'll just uh, I'll just put another meter in it. Uh, one of my my viewers suggested that, you know, you can take that, uh, because this has got the three column one, and all the Cobra 25s and 29s, which is the same meter, other than it has a different scale on the back of it, take that scale out and move it. I've never tried, but, uh, you know, I might get froggy and do that because I've had them far enough apart that uh, that makes sense. It's just a little plastic piece that sets back there and take a good meter and uh, change out the plastic. Hopefully not damage the meter in the process, but it might be worth a try. I've got a few of them laying around to give that a try. But anyway, getting back to the radio, um, I would kind of ran it through all of its paces. Um, this thing um, was uh, definitely, definitely uh, had a lot of a uh, lot of work done to it at one time or another. And, and uh, looking at it, it's really clean work. Um, being that this is an older uh, Grand XL, they did the, uh, I think this is one of the MB8719 chips is what they call those, which I did a lot of the, I've done a lot of the freak mods on it, but this one's actually got a, what was it? It's got channel mod in it. It's got a, uh, it, which is cool. It's got a, it's got your regular 40 and then it's got your uh, lower 40. So it's got 80, 80 channels in it. Um, and I know how you could, I could actually, if I had a three position switch, I could mod it to where it has the highest too. I'm not real big into the frequency mods anymore. Uh, you know, that used to back in the day when I was doing them, there was a lot more congestion on the CB channel. So it was kind of nice to have the extra upper 40 and lower 40. But these days, you know, the, it's not that traffic congested. So you really, you know, having it's kind of cool, but it's not, it's not a necessity. I can't remember what switch they, they stole two switches here to get this done. Um, what were they? Look at this price plate here. One of them is the bright dim, and that's where they put the variable power, which, by the way, it has variable power, which I suspected that. Another one was the tone. It was high or low, so they just set the tone to probably the whichever way it sounded good, which it sounds good to me, so I'll just leave it. And the high-low is actually high as regular channels and low as low channels, so they kind of did that right. But uh, anyway, uh, let me go ahead and talk about the, the big issue I got now is this guy right here. Um, let me see. Hopefully that's far enough back. Camera's far enough back. Let's see if I can get back here. Is this is after I have scrubbed and scrubbed and cleaned and I've done everything I can and I, I just I, you know it's still pretty rough. You know it's got like a plastic film on it and it's almost like that whoever bought this radio never peeled off that plastic protective and because they didn't after years of sitting in the sun and the water and everything it kind of like sealed to it and uh, I've tried picking it off and it comes off in places but I can't get it off and it just you know the faceplate looks pretty rough and uh, since this is such a good working radio which I will go through uh, I'll show you how she's working I'd really like to do something with this I was out there looking at on on the internet and I did find like on eBay you can buy some uh, aftermarket sticker that'll go on here and you know you can have an American flag or you know electric lightning bolts and uh, you know basically it's just a sticker that uh that's cut and dyed then it'll stick right over that and that, that would definitely be one option um the other would be to find a old grant that's that's going giving up the ghost and uh i could get a you know a good flashback because this will peel right off i mean and the good the crazy thing is, is the chrome's really not that bad on it it's just 
it's just the face plate but I don't know I'm still researching that the only thing with that is they want $20 plus like five shipping so it'd be like 25 bucks for a sticker to cover that it just that just seems a little outrageous to me I'm even thinking maybe I lay it on a flatbed scanner and scan it and maybe cut my own out or something I don't know I'm I'm still biting on I'm, I'm cheap I don't want to spend $25 on a sticker that just seems too high for a sticker if it were 10 you know 15 dollars i'd be all on board but i don't know 25 just seems kind of high but anyway i'm getting off in the weeds on that um but other than that I, and the knobs i've got lots of spare knobs laying around here I, I can get some good knobs those knobs that were on there were shot i mean they're rusted and corroded but i get good knobs i'm not worried about that it's more about and i mean it looks if you if you go back and look at you know my first uh episode on this this is 10 times better than it was but i mean that's me with I, I used like three different cleaners on it used a brush on it and uh i promise you this is about as good as it's gonna get um in fact i started i went with some steel wool i thought maybe that would do the trick and it started taking the uh the writing off of it and i didn't want to do that so in fact i, I lost part of it right there i lost the am and uh, part of the volume and uh, squelch letters by using that steel wool it was kind of you know shining it up but <laughs> and by the time I got it shined up, I wouldn't have had any lettering at all on it. So that was kind of not a good option. But anyway, back to the radio. Amazingly, I haven't, other than, like I said, completely tearing it apart and completely re-cleaning and, and scrubbing all the crud out of the front of it. I, did, I hadn't, hadn't had to replace a capacitor in a resistor, nothing. And the uh, way this guy goes is one watt dead key with variable power all the way down. As you can see, even with me talking as far back. It's picking up some audio, but it'll go from a one watt dead key to a to about an eight watt dead key. Uh, eight watt dead key's kind of overdriving it, but uh, you know this is definitely set up to run a run a box on. I love that one watt, but this is what's really hot. Head audio, head audio, one to sixteen watt dead key. Um, that is a swing now. This radio is going to talk. And uh, you can, uh, of course, you can bring her up to about, bring her to about four watts here. Mm -hmm. Hey, audio, hey, audio. And the same thing. It's about four to about sixteen watts. So, uh, yeah, I'm digging that. I mean, it's it's got some serious serious modulation. Hey, audio, hey, audio. And if you look at it over here, let me go and generate your tone here. Look at that wave. That is a clean modulation right there. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. No splatter, no distortion. That looks nice. Uh, it's not it's not flat topping on the edges. I mean, whoever did this radio, I'm impressed. They they did it about the way I would do it. Turn that off. I know that's that's irritating. And uh, same on the old spectrum analyzer. Uh, as you can see. Nice clean carrier, no harmonics. And then uh, we bring her up. We bring her up here on the receive side of things. Of course, this clutch works perfect. Uh, where's the RF gain on it? Like I said, the meter's not working. I'm trying to keep that volume down there, but, but uh, let's go ahead and do a little, little receive sensitivity test on it. I'm gonna choke the scratch there. Let me get the scratch off of it. About a negative 131 dB, and I'm still hearing it, so ears are great not a problem with the ears alignment wise um what's the frequency at on it check that out guys 27164970.004 kilohertz off frequency 
it's that's not even offer because that's spot on. I mean, you're not gonna get much better than that. And that's what the cover's off. Maybe the cover's on. It might even be zero zero. But uh, wow. I mean, I, I'm not finding anything on this radio that I do not like, other than the nasty front face plate. But the rest of it I can clean up. Uh, the covers. Um, this guy is one cool radio. Anyway, I wanted to give you an update. I'm excited. Um, I'm going to weigh my options. I'm thinking about maybe on this guy. I don't know. Maybe y'all would think think maybe. What do you think maybe you'll be going to get in a can of clear and spraying clear over it? And maybe the clear. I know on cars a lot of times, you know, when you get these dull and, and spots like this and stuff, that, you know, if you put a coat of clear on it, it'll kind of bring it back and make it nice and smooth and shiny again. I mean, I kind of feel like I got nothing to lose there. It might be worth trying to just squirt some clear on it. At least that way I won't be losing any uh, more of the uh, the, the ink or the uh, the writing on it. Try and just spray some clear on it and see how it comes out. Either that or, you know, I'll keep looking on the on eBay and stuff. I have not found a, uh, a you know, I'd like to find a donor cover. That would be fine when it's in good shape or I just, I'm, I just, $25 for a sticker, just, I'm just having an issue with that. I don't know. You know, the radio's probably, probably got the value to do it. I mean, considering how well it works, it's got some cool options. It's got variable power. Um, it's got high and low frequencies. Um, I mean, it's, it's, it's all here. I mean, there's this, this, this radio's a nice radio. <coughs> and if, once I get the faceplate cleaned up, new knobs on it, you'd never know that what we had before is actually this good a shape. I had hope for it when I opened it up and didn't see any water damage. It was all, it was all up front there, and I was able to clean all that up just fine. Not a problem one. Still need to clean those a little bit more, but as far as just aesthetics, as far as looks, I can. I did the back side. I need to clean those a little more. I just noticed that. But uh, anyway, just to update, guys, uh, this will be uh, part two of it. Kind of excited. We got us a. We got us a. A walk and talk in Grand XL for sure. Um, we just need to get the, the restoration part done now as far as making it pretty. And uh, that'll be the final video on it, which, uh, yeah, hopefully here in a week or so I'll come up with either, you know, I don't know. I just, I, maybe I can keep searching and I'll find a cheaper way or maybe, who knows, maybe I'll get into the business of making stickers for these. It can't be that hard with the, you know, we got 3D printers, you got 3D cutters now. I mean, I would think you could use a laser cutter to to cut the holes on a, on a sticker and uh, use a printer to print the graphics so I mean there's got to be you know of course I probably spend more than the 25 I get all that but at least I'd be able to reproduce it multiple times but anyway um, just wanted to come back here guys and give you a cool update we're uh, we're coming right along on this guy uh, next thing I'm gonna tackle is this meter and then uh, once I get the meter going really it's just down to uh, getting a pretty faceplate for it and uh, some nice knobs on it and uh, and I'll probably go ahead and, and maybe even paint the paint the case black again. You know, it's a few scuffs and stuff, but it's not really even in that bad of shape. Like I said, it this radio is gonna be awesome. Have a great day, guys. This is Electron Man. Hopefully, you enjoy my videos. Uh, you kind of know the thing. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up on the video and hit that little bell so you know uh, when the next update on this radio comes out.